What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, Part 12. We're gonna continue on the campaign quest to building bridges. Here's the gate, and that must be the ladder. Oh, hold on. So I did a little bit of training in the off camera. I took off the what was it? The ring of timely focus. So hopefully I can show off a little bit better of my skills. I still keep this one because I can't pay attention to both things. Kept Torgal. Torgal's command automatically attacks. There was something else I wanted to do actually. Do I have enough? I do. Oh crap. And then let's switch this with Rook's Gambit. Yeah, I wanted to practice on my parries and my uh I don't care what your orders are, My dodges. What was that? <clears throat> it came from under the bridge. Come on. Mm, well let's go. Oh boy. Oh, I thought he hit me. You know what to do. <coughs> there, boy. Sick of Togo. You know what to do. Spectacular. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. <laughs> I'm just glad you're safe. I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Let's go with him and protect him. Or not. Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. I'm sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Should we go talk to Martha again? Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, when I was training the off camera, the parry is really tight. Like, as soon as, like... You see the enemy attacking, you have to make your make your attack in order to parry it. And it's really hard to time it because some enemies are different. And you, you usually have to do it like right before or right as soon as they start attacking you. It's really hard. 
I'm not gonna lie. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They've nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flag yes, of Imperial please. Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? the legions or Auraflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes... <sighs> ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. We so no done, eh? What? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? Did all she right? just leave in? A newborn baby? Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh my god. They had been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Damn, that lady is cruel. It doesn't matter if it's a bear, it's still a newborn baby. Where am I going? Wait, what's this? Is this... Anything catch your eye? No, I already got a better one. Got a better one. Got a better one. Uh... Ooh. Take care out there, eh? God, those music things are like expensive. Have an have a look. Don't be shy. 
All the way out there. Better go down the ladder. Or can I go down this way? Oh. I knew that children were tested. That bearers' fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. That's a messed up situation. Oh, wrong. Wrong icon. Ah, you... Oh, touch me. I don't have the time the timely focus ring it doesn't show the dodging things that's gonna be a little harder it's all good but the other thing about the training thing is when I was doing the magic bursts it's really hard to time them especially having to uh, command Torgal because I was trying to do it without Torgal's ring but my brain is so dumb I couldn't do it so I just left the ring for Torgal so I can just pay attention to the magic bursts. Is that a wild chocobo? Oh, that's a... That's a big boy. Yeah, I'm still learning on the precision dodge, but I'll get it. I'll get it. It's so pretty. Oh, I missed it. Get 
toast that. Come on. Ah. Trying to time the parry is so hard. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Don't let them get away. You know what to do, boy. There, boy. Sick of toggle. There it is. Keep your distance, bro. Get the wall you've got for Oh, come on. What? Come on. Train more. <laughs> you know what to do, boy. Not this time. Come back down. Oh, you stupid bee. You have to pay more attention to enemy attacks. I have to try my best to be better at this game. Because I want to do New Game Plus, and I definitely have to be good at it by then. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Don't let them get away. Sick of toggle. Get a boy. Sick of toggle. You don't stay down. Should I fight those birds? So I can get the XP? Yeah. Yeah. XP's nice. Sup, bitches?
Get a point. Sick of Togo. There it is. Level up. More spiders over there. I really do like that the maps are opening up more. some abilities let me see let me see or should i save up for this flames of rebirth i like that it restores clive's hp how much i have Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. You fade. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Is that like petrification? what it looks like the curse has taken them all of them as it does every bearer forced to use their gift with each draw on the ether their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain and so they are cast aside there is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Oh. 
I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. No, that sucked. I can t teleport there, can't I? Nah, sure can. Bad news, Martha. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. You accept the slumbering and chocobo. Know that you will always be welcome here. What is that? You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Hmm. More popular? Let me see, what did I get? Mm -mm. Where is it? Where is it? <coughs> no, no, no. What was it? They're over here in the items? This seal marks his bearer as a trusted ally of Martha of the Golden Stables. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. There was something about, like, getting a chocobo. 
Damn it. <laughs> Sid. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're What's that on I his hand? It. Hurt your hand. How did I? With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. <laughs> Just used a fire crystal. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> <laughs> no. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. <laughs> I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. And with that, we part ways. Maybe we'll see Sid later on. Alright, and it looks like I'll be ending the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.